Oh, and I missed him. That is the crappie. I've been looking for it right there. Ooh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is super windy right now. It took me forever to get in here. I am on the ice. This is going to be my first ice fishing video of the year. And uh, I fished this lake before. I caught a 15 inch crappie last year. Or it's just a tank. Absolute tank of a crappie. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's go inside. I don't think the audio is too good. Yeah, I don't think the audio is too good. We're going to talk about my favorite ice fishing lure style. My favorite style of ice fishing lure. And that is the lipless crankbait. I, sp I really like white. This is a Eurotackle lipless crankbait. I like uh, Pete's Tackle makes some really good ones too. I actually have, well I got one of his spoons tied on. And then they, a Rattala, Rattala, a Rapala Rip and Wrap is also a really good one to have as well. So this lake has some really good fish in it. You gotta weed out the small ones. Got him. Got him. So I set it straight up. Everybody asks why we hold the ice reels like this. It's because you gotta set those, those rods straight up in the air instead of side to side like a spinning rod. He's 10. It's a 10 incher. They're skinny 10 inchers because well, it's Northern Wisconsin, but He'll eat good too. I love these lipless crankbaits because you can fish them in a bunch of different ways. You can fish them super aggressive. Actually right now is not a very aggressive bite. If it's really aggressive, they like to chase them all the way up the water column. You'll start them at like 25 feet in, you know, right now I'm in 32 feet of water. You can start fishing them in 25 feet and they'll race up to right below the hole before they hit it. This is more of a finesse approach. I'm kind of having to, to just rock it. You're basically rocking the tail. There's rattles inside a lot of these lures. A lot of companies that make lipless crankbaits. A lot of times I kind of got to drop down to those the, the fish at those levels of 28 to 30 foot. That's why I'm keeping them right now. And trying to raise them up to that 25 foot mark. You'll find a lot of times when you raise these fish up, there's a certain depth range they will hit at. If you try to fish for them, below 30 feet, they're just not going to hit a lure. But if you can get them on, on this right now on this lake, it's like 25 to 22 feet. If you can raise them up into the water column into that level, they're going to hit it. That's a good fish. That is a good fish right below my lure. Oh, we just need them to come up. You never want to drop below them. That usually ends up scaring them. But good news is there are fish down there. Bad news is it's negative five outside. Yes, minus five degrees. So huge cold front came through. Kind of, I'm gonna guess shut these fish down. Uh, they're definitely taking a look at some of these lures, but that I throw at them. Oh, here's one. Now this is a pothole lake that I've fished before. Basically, in the winter time, these crappie will suspend over the deepest holes in these smaller lakes. This lake is about 100 plus acres um, in size. A lot of, there's a lot of these lakes in northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota that are 100 to maybe 400 acres in size. And if you can find the deepest holes, drill, have a very sharp auger because you might need to drill a bunch of holes. So basically I found one of the deeper holes on this lake. There's actually two, two holes that get down to about 45 feet. I'm on the edge of it. I'm in 32 feet of water. These crappie are 25 to 28 feet down. I'm only going to catch probably 10 today. And odds are, you know, unless I can, I can get them where they're shallower or they're higher up in the water column than let's say 20, 25 feet. And if I catch them below 25 feet, I'm gonna keep them no matter what. This lake doesn't have a size limit. Um, it just has a bag limit. So you can keep 25 total, but I'm gonna keep 10. Got them. Super soft bite, that's a good fish, yeah. Yeah, that's the one we're looking for. Oh, it's a tank. It's a tank. <laughs> that is the one we've been looking for. The entire time. That fish right there. Yes! Lipless crankbaits. Swimming by himself. These are the fish we came to, to find. Beautiful, beautiful black crappie. Northern Wisconsin. Mm 
All right, there we go. Well, I'll try to get the mouth closed here. Come on, do it right. Mouth closed. Ah. Mouth closed. Eh, 12. 12 on the dot. He barely hit it. Like, I just kept raising it up in the water column until I felt like there was some weight there. He didn't even feel like he bit it. He's swimming by himself. You can definitely tell the difference between that 12 inch crappie and these 9 and 10 inch fish. It's not the 15 that I caught last year, but it's a solid 12 inch Northern Wisconsin crappie. And since I'm catching them 20, 26, 27 feet down, I'm keeping them. I'm not going to keep a ton, I'm just going to keep 4 or 5, enough for a meal. You see all the stuff that we have to buy as ice fishermen? Man, if I didn't have to buy all this stuff, I would have such a nice boat. Such a nice boat. I guess technically you don't have to have a heater, but when it's minus five out, it does help to stay out on the ice longer. A lot of pothole lakes like this in northern, in northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota, and other northern states, they'll have some sort of lake map system or an avionics chart. You're gonna drill holes around the outside of that basin. This, in the early ice season, they're gonna be pushed up closer to the weed edge. Um, if there's deeper weeds in that lake, usually Wisconsin, Minnesota lakes are fairly clear, so if there's usually some sort of deeper weed pattern in like 12, 15 feet of water, that you could find those crappie early ice. Most likely, they're gonna be pushed out over these basins, so you're just gonna to have to drill some holes. If you have a pan optics unit, live scope, or, or the original pan optics like I have here, um, actually I have the live scope, not the original, but if you have the original, that works well too. You don't have to drill as many holes, but if you're just using a regular flasher unit, you gotta drop down every hole. One, one key tip, you can actually swing your transducer, if it's just a regular flasher transducer, and you'll be able to see schools of crappie, depending on which direction you swing it. Got him, got him, and I got him on camera too. Yes, worthless crankbait. A white 1 16th ounce Euro tackle lipless crankbait. There's crop number three today. The These are not the size I want. There's some much bigger size fish in here. I like this white Euro tackle. It's a 1 16th ounce lipless. I think I used it when I fished uh, last open water video I did up north anyway. And then I switched to like the bluegill pattern because uh, Jeremy, subscriber. He's catching more fish than me, but they really like this white one right now. I don't know what the deal is, but they, they are liking it. They... Oh, here he is. Got him. Yep, I got him. He's a dink. I think. Yeah. He's not that big. Oh. 